Hello and welcome back. Today in this video you will learn how to create a read more button or a toggle inside the free version of Elementor. So as you know the read more button is only available in the pro version of Elementor. But in this video we will find a free add-on for that and we will create a read more or a toggle button. And before creating the button let me show you a quick demo of that. So as you can see there are 8 images visible. And if I click on view more, this will display the next 4 images. If I click this again, this will hide that again. And you can also use this for your text, for example like this. If I click this, this will show the remaining text. If I click this again, this will hide that. And the same goes for this one. If I click view more, this will show these. So this is what we will cover in this video. If you need a more simple version, then we can create something like this. This is just a text. If I click read more, this will open up this text and if I click on show list, this will hide their text. So let's see how we can create a read more or toggle button inside Elementor. And for creating this, we will use one of our previous website. This is the website that we created in our last video. So if you need a website like this, then you can watch my previous video. This is also with a free theme and free plugins. So let's go to our dashboard. And here we will add a new plugin. So we'll go to plugins and add new. And by the way, there are two different plugins for that. One is unlimited elements by which you can create this type of button. But this is really simple and uh, this one looks good. So to create this, we will use another plugin which is called HT Mega Add-ons. So to add this plugin, you can go to your plugins and add new, then search for HT Mega Add-ons. Then you will see this plugin HT Mega Absolute Add-ons for Elementor Page Builder. So just install this. And once you activate this plugin, this will take you to its dashboard where they recommend some other plugins. And you can also go to its settings and uh, go to elements and here you can enable and disable any elements that you need and you don't so in the, here you can search for toggle which is this and uh, this is elementor toggle widget so let's find it this is the toggle so make sure you enable this and uh, this is already enabled so let's close this and to create this, I'll simply create a new page. And uh, let's call it Elementor Toggle. This is just for example, let's edit this with Elementor. And uh, let's create a new section. As you can see, with that plugin, you also get some extra templates that you can use. So if you need a page template or a blog, then you can import it easily. But that is not a part of this video. Let's close this. And uh, we will search for toggle. And you will see this toggle by HT Elements with HT logo. So just drag this. And you will get this toggle. Now you can customize the text, the icon, the close and uh, the text also. So all the text inside this toggle will be hidden. And if you want to display some text, then you can use your regular text widget like this one. So, for example, first part of the text. And if I click show all, this will show this text, which is this one. So you need to write your own text here. And then this will be the first part and this will be the second part. And to customize this, you can click here and uh, you can call this read more and read less. Now you can see read less and read more. You can also give this an icon. For example, plus icon. And for the open one, we will use minus. And uh, you can see the plus and the minus. 
so this was how you can hide and show text only and if you want to create a section for this then you can customize this right here select content source so the custom one is for the text and you can create an elementor template and you can hide and show that let me show you a quick example of this also and before that you can stylize this inside your style widget you can change the color like this you can change the typography and so on you can see the text color has been changed now if you want to change the button color then you can click on button you can change the color to red and let's so this is how you can create your text version okay let's publish this page and uh, we will go to our dashboard and let me check if i have some templates to hide so to add a template you can go to templates and here as you can see i have some templates to add a new template you can click on add new and here you can choose a page or a section for now we will use a section we will call this hidden for example we'll click create template and now you can design this section according to your need for example you want to hide a gallery then you can create a gallery here a text and a button products and so on so for now let's create an intersection we will drag an image here just to make the video short and uh, for this part let's use a video for example i want to hide this image in this video so just publish this for now this is a really simple example you can design your section your page according to your need and let's go back to elementor and we will refresh this just to get that template and now if i click read more and uh, i will use a elementor template let's choose the template which is hidden now if i click this this will show up that image and the video if i click read less this will hide that again so this was very simple that how you can hide a section or a text again you can customize your button here i'll give this some margin for example 33 so you can see the margin which is this spacing you can also you create a button for example giving this a background color and so on i am doing this quickly just to show you and give you the idea i will give this a padding of 20 and a border radius of 10 so okay so now if i click this as you can see this is our button for the read more so this was how you can create a read more or a toggle button inside the free version of elementor i hope you have learned something new in this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next